presents us with a huge potential for CPAC. Yeah, thank you, Mariam, for uh, inviting me over. Um, in fact, I have a problem with the uh, title when we say that uh, CPAC is a lifeline for Pakistan. I'll give you a different perspective. Sure. It's not that CPAC is a lifeline for Pakistan. Basically, it is Pakistan that is lifeline for CPAC. Of course, because of our strategic yes, location, we are the bridge. Absolute, absolutely. And I think you would recall, and perhaps uh, Dr. Hasnan would recall, I had uh, given the idea of MISAKA, that is Middle East, South Asia, and Central Asia. Because through Middle East, we could connect to North Africa, and through South Asia, we could uh, connect to Southeast Asia via uh, Bangladesh and Myanmar. And through Central Asia, we were connecting ourselves with Russia and China and all. So Pakistan's uh, strategic relevance was such that China perhaps thought it appropriate that it is better to go by road from the Chinese border all the way through Pakistan up to Gawadar and then connect it with the rest of the world. Though very late, perhaps the project should have started much earlier. However, why I am saying so is because I am privy to certain situation and I have a small little contribution to this uh, project. It was 2011-12 and Prime Minister was Yusuf Raza Gilani when the first presentation on the project was made by the group ably led by Ambassador Farooq Amil from the Forum of National Defense University, that is NDU Islamabad. I was supervising the study. General uh, Javed Iqbal Ramde was guiding us and General Farooq, the President NDU was the approving authority for the presentation. And Prime Minister Gilani largely appreciated the presentation which Farooq Amil made to him and it was accepted and the groundwork started. However, as you said that the final uh, MOU was signed in July 2013, so that means it took about two, two and a half year when the groundwork was done. However, at that time we did not uh, made this acronym of CPAC, rather it was Park china Strategic Relations. So uh, that is a contribution of uh, NDU. The idea was to have connectivity and provide Pakistan's strategic location to the market where Chinese goods can easily move by road or by rail. Instead that China goes all the way from the state of Malacca and mm. takes more than 10,000 mm. nautical miles. Shortest mile. route. This was the shortest route. So Pakistan uh, come, came forward and uh, cemented our strategic relationship with China. China uh, see it as a flagship project for uh, Belt and Road Initiative. And in the last 10 years, I think CPEC has progressed very well as Brigadier Saab said. But the small little delay is not because of uh, any impediment, but it was the nature and that too because of the pandemic. Mm. So the project got slowed by about two years only because of the pandemic. Of course, we will be talking about the progress on uh, different initiatives and projects later in the program. But when we talk about CPEC, of course, Blochistan uh, being part of this uh, important initiative and uh, the strategic location of Balochistan is very important. So how do you see this has impacted uh, the uh, underserved areas of the country and different regions? Yes, very important question. In fact, whenever you build infrastructure, through the uninhabited areas, it invites people to migrate near the lifeline. And that is what has actually happened. The areas which not had seen uh, electricity, not had seen road, not had seen any communication mm. network, today Alhamdulillah are connected through mobile networks, through the road networks and through the other communication networks like hospitals and uh, schools are being built on this network. The security has improved quite a bit because we, if we want the trade and commerce to flow freely in those areas, then the security had to be strengthened. Pakistan army deserves appreciation 
and our law enforcing agencies deserve appreciation to ensure that the CPAC route is clear of all uh, uh, difficulties uh, which were being faced earlier in uh, Balochistan areas. And now, as we know that uh, the large containers and ships have started to arrive in Gawadar and the movement of goods and trade has started by road. Of course. There are certain areas which are being strengthened further right. and the work will continue. As uh, Brigadier Saab said that the second phase will take us into the specialized economic zones. Of